Hello everybody, I'm Jessica River and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Pokemon Snap. So I am a little worried about the new Pokemon Snap that is coming out in uh, I believe 2020? Maybe 2021? Okay, so right now I'm not seeing a release date for it, it just says under construction uh, in the trailer video, so I'm guessing they haven't quite figured everything out yet. Which can be a good and a bad thing. I'm hoping that that's a good thing, because it gives them more time to figure out what they want to do with the game. Now visually, this game looks amazing. It looks way better than the original game. Um, I still love the first game, oh my god. But um, visually, this looks so much better. The water is like so crystal clear and pretty and everything is just so vibrant. And the Pokemon look great. Like they actually look like Pokemon and you know, they're actually interacting with the environment. It looks good. That's not what I'm worried about. <laughs> um, I'm worried that this game is not going to be as special as the old game was. I got the old game not exactly when it came out, but pretty close to like right after it came out. And I remember seeing the commercial for it um, on television during that time. And it was so unique to that time period. It made, I think, a lot of innovations in gaming in general. This game also, I feel, like really pushed the Nintendo 64 to the max. Like there were a lot of games that really pushed that gaming system to its limit and this was one of those games. And I'll get more into that later. One of the things I'm worried about with this new game is that, yes, it looks beautiful, but is it gonna have that sense of wonder and mystery that the old game has. Because the old game, when you first load the game, you're greeted with Todd Snap trying to catch a picture of Mew. And Mew just kind of floats into the sky and disappears. And it's like, <gasps> what was that? And then you're greeted by Professor Oak. And basically he's trying to get pictures of Pokemon to get information. And the more that you go into this game, the more that you learn about like the mysteries of different locations and things of this game. Even after like you do all like the courses and stuff, like there's still like um, like these mystery images in the world that you have to get. I can't remember what they're called. There's basically just like a lot of secrets in this game and a lot of hidden things to uncover and it actually feels like you're exploring and you're discovering new things and then you get to take pictures of them. And I don't really get that feeling from this new trailer. This trailer, um, it looks fun uh, and it looks cute, but I don't get that sense of mystery and discovery. Something I especially loved from the old game was like anytime you would uncover like a new area or like a secret passage. and. The game is kind of designed so like you're on this set track, right? So it kind of feels like you're kind of on like this little roller coaster and then you get to throw a couple apples at something and then you unlock like a hidden secret area. So the roller coaster gets to go off its tracks and go into like this new area that you're normally like not supposed to go into or whatever. It just felt like you were an explorer, basically. It felt like you were exploring new areas and new Pokemon. And then, of course, you had special ways to unlock Pokemon. Like, um, if you wanted uh, Charizard, you had to throw something at a Charmeleon and make it fall into the water, uh, into, I'm sorry, make it fall into lava, and then that lava would basically explode and out would pop a Charizard and then the Charizard would throw fire at you and it was just, just felt crazy like, oh my gosh, like how did that happen? And um, back then you had the internet, but the internet wasn't as established as it is today. And so most kids had to figure out these little hidden secrets and clues on their own. It wasn't just something that you could look up and, you know, 
have someone tell you step by step what to do to unlock everything. You had to play the game over and over and over again and each time you would discover new things. And I remember as a kid there was a rumor that you could get nine tails. So I would try everything I could to try to get a nine tails, including trying to force Vulpix to go into the lava like Charmeleon and make it evolve. Like, there's still a part of my brain that thinks that that's possible, but it's not. Um, <laughs> nine tails is not in that game. <laughs> But um, I just don't think that this new Pokemon Snap is going to be able to do that. It's probably mostly going to just focus on taking cute pictures of Pokemon, which doesn't necessarily make it a bad game. It's just not going to be as special to me as the first game. Oh yeah, the other thing I want to talk about is the actual like innovation of Pokemon Snap. So Pokemon Snap was originally another game and then they changed it to Pokemon because Pokemon was popular during that time and I believe they were changing from one gaming system to the Nintendo 64. But something that Pokemon Snap has in the game now, and I'm not sure if this was the game to create these innovations. I don't know if they are in another game. If they are in another game before this game, let me know. But I think this was the game to just make certain gaming mechanics possible. And the gaming mechanics, I'm talking about the camera itself being able to recognize a Pokemon's face, like where their face are, and whether the Pokemon is completely in frame or out of frame, and how big or small that Pokemon was in frame. The game also registers whether or not that Pokemon is doing like a special move. It registers whether or not there's another Pokemon in the screen and it recognizes how many Pokemon are in a screen. And that's something that most filters and apps and things use nowadays, like facial recognition. We use that so much today, and I believe this was the game to kind of figure out those types of mechanics. And you can see this when you go to send in your pictures to Professor Oak, he'll actually tell you whether or not a picture is good or not based on those aspects of your picture. And the last thing I'm worried about with this new Pokemon Snap is that we already have things like Pokemon Go and um, the newer Pokemon games where you already can take pictures of Pokemon. Like, that's not a new cool hit thing anymore. Like, it's almost expected to be in every game being able to take a cool photo because that's just something that's very big in our culture of social media. We just take lots of pictures nowadays, so uh, when a game comes out, we're just used to being able to take a whole bunch of pictures. And I don't know if a game just surrounding pictures right now in this day and age is going to be that popular. Oh, another cool thing that I want to mention real quick about the old Pokemon Snap is that there used to be like these gaming stations at uh, Blockbuster Videos where you could actually print off your um, Pokemon Snap pictures as little stickers like they would come out on like this little roll and um, you'd be able to like, peel them off and stick them places. Yeah it was just like a different time period back then and people were just like really excited about Pokemon and there was just so much um, innovation happening in games and that game just it revolutionized a lot of what we expect from games nowadays. And I know there are a lot of games that do that, but that's just not something I see happening with this new game. This new game, it just it just seems like a cute picture-taking Pokemon game. Which, like I said, it is not a bad thing. It's just, it's not going to be as edgy and um, innovative as the first one. I just don't think it can be. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. <laughs> Just kind of wanted to get all my thoughts and opinions out because, um, you know, this is a game that I've been wanting for a really long time. I've always wanted a new Pokemon Snap game and um, I just, I do want it to be good. I want it to be fun and when it comes out, I'm definitely going to play it. So, we'll just see what happens, I guess. Thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all again next time. Bye!